Hello again. Uh, we are now in the API economy track or the business track, as we may call it. And we will start with Hello our again. Uh, first we are now speaker. In the uh, we'll start with our first speaker, who is uh, Katrin von Yessel, uh, about opening up the vault, the KBC API journey. Uh, hi, Katrin. Are you able to join? Hi, really nice to to have you there at the API days, opening this uh, uh, this business track, and glad to hear about the KBC API journey uh, with you. So, if you're able to share your slide with us in full screen, perfect. The stage is yours for 20 minutes, and we'll be back for five minute question. Okay, super. Thanks a lot, Mimi. Well, I will uh, be give you a very quick tour about how we are opening up our uh, our vault in uh, in KBC. But first, actually, I want to take you on a short, uh, on a very short journey with um, with me, and it's a journey about Margot. Margot is, let's say, a 23 year old. She has a study in uh, she studied accountancy. She also has a an, a Balaba, so an, an, another bachelor in digital marketing. She has a godchild. She's a fan of uh, the football club AA uh, Ghent. She still studies. Uh, she still resides at a hotel mama, so uh, with her parents. But she wants to buy something soon, of course. And I just want to take you through a year uh, with uh, with Margot for uh, just for the, the fun of it let's say it's uh, like that well margot is also starting uh first of november so in a few days she's starting in um as Eniko as a social media strategist and of course there she needs an account and uh, she needs an account to receive her paycheck uh, to receive her money of course and she chooses to open an, a new account with KBC in KBC Mobile because there in KBC Mobile she can also add her uh, her meal vouchers so she also receives meal vouchers she can also add the meal vouchers to her account and she still had an account previous account from uh, from BMP Paribas uh, for this. So she also wants to make sure that she adds that. So she has the entire overview of her accounts, but also of her meal vouchers just in one oversight within uh, KBC Mobile. And as a thank you to her parents, she says, well, let's, uh, let's, have, uh, let's have dinner together. And in order to book that dinner experience, she uses also an, uh, an uh, extra service within KBC Mobile to book that, uh, with, uh, together with Table Booker, to book in a a culinary experience in a restaurant, in a nice restaurant nearby. And as said, she, uh, Margot also has a godchild, Peter, and with that godchild, she wants to go for his birthday a couple of uh, weeks later. She wants to go to uh, Plopsaland, which is a theme park in uh, in Belgium, and she buys her tickets for Plopsaland also within KBC Mobile. And then she's as we all know, today we need a COVID safe ticket and that COVID safe ticket in order to prove that she has been fully vaccinated, also that COVID safe ticket she can um, see in KBC Mobile. And um, she's browsing through a couple of days later and then all of a sudden on TV, she sees um, this short video, this clip. <laughs> Mis nooit meer een goal. Met Goal Alert krijg je de strafste beelden uit de Jubilair Pro League nog tijdens de match rechtstreeks in je KBC Mobile. Zelfs als je geen KBC rekening hebt. Download nu KBC Mobile. Well, I hope you had sound with that, but either way, you know, she can now, she can follow up on everything what her favorite team does show within KBC Mobile, so she gets alert when there is a score, when the, mar when the match is starting, when the match is ending, when there is halftime, but also when there is a, a yellow or a red card. So she adds that and now all of a sudden she gets pops up within KBC Mobile about the goals and everything around her favorite team. A couple of months later, Margot is uh, doing well at her job at Eneco, but she has to do a big presentation for her boss, for the, for the big boss, and she says, well, I think I need a new outfit for this, you know, to feel uh, secure and comfortable and just because it's also a very nice excuse to do so. And she goes to shop at Zap and there also she gets a discount because she activated KBC deals. Within KBC deals, she gets vouchers to get discounts on her, uh, uh, on the things, on the clothes that she buys at Zap. And then she arrives and she's planning, you know, how am, I, how am I going to arrive? How am I going to go? Because it's in a different building. And what she typically does is she... Um, goes by public transport and then she um, she uh, gets a shared bike with using uh, KBC Mobile because she can book the, the 
um, share the bike, use the bike uh, from within KDC Mobile. But she thinks, no, you know, for this occasion, it might rain. We're still in Belgium. Um, so I'm going to use um, a shared car. And also that shared car, she can book it from within KDC Mobile. Presentation is done. She uh, did very well, of course. And she thinks, well, maybe instead of always sharing that bike, maybe I should buy a bike for myself. And she goes to the site of Bike Republic, which is a, a big bike shop here in uh, Belgium. And she sees there the perfect bike for her. She wants to buy it. And then she sees all of a sudden that she can also get a financing immediately on the site of, K of uh, Bike Republic. So she can simulate and ask for a loan immediately there within the site of, uh, of Bike Republic. She will repay the loan, of course, but the money is transferred immediately to the bike merchants, so to the merchants, so nobody has to worry about that. So the year goes by, uh, Margot has said has, uh, her first love was uh, accountancy, and she thinks, you know, maybe I do want to start already something on my own. You know, as a side business, I still have my main job at Inico, but I'm also going to start as an independent, as an accountant. And she has to go to the... To for example, Xerius, which is a social secretary where you have to go through all the hassle of asking a number uh, for as an entrepreneur uh, and, uh, and all these things. And what you always also need is a business account. So she thinks, OK, well, I have to first do everything on the site of Xerius. And then she sees that she does not has, have to go to a branch, but immediately there on the site of Xerius, she can ask, she can apply or she can buy a business account. Very easy, of course, for her. And she also thinks, well, I need also like a CRM system. She chooses Team Leader. And there on the marketplace of Team Leader, she sees a certain um, possibility that she can use there, which is called On Demand Financing, a service by KBC where she can pre-finance invoices. So she, um, she immediately receives the amount of the invoice. Uh, but her um, the counterparty only has to pay later. So she's like, ah, oh, well, that's also interesting. So she also gets that from the marketplace of team leader. And then she thinks like, okay, I now have my bike, I'm starting. Maybe I can also buy a car, you know, a very nice electric car. So she goes on the site of Tesla and she there also, she sees, okay, when she configures a car, she has the entire car chosen. She can also immediately buy a financing for that as an entrepreneur and asset financing. So to finance the asset, the car there, she can immediately buy that on the site or request that on the site of Tesla. But she thinks, nah, maybe that's a step too far as a congrats to myself. I will reward myself differently. I will go to a museum. She loves going to museums. So she goes to the Museum of Art and History in Brussels and also the ticket for that museum. She can also buy it within KBC Mobile. Year goes by. Some things are inevitable in her life. Apparently, that and Texas is one well, uh, are two of them, the only two. Luckily, Texas comes first for uh, Margot. So she has to um, fill in her Texas for the first time. She gets the notification in Docker in her e-box, so her electronic uh, box from the government, which she also sees within KBC Mobile. And she thinks like, yeah, it has been quite a year, especially with starting as an entrepreneur myself. I feel a bit insecure about everything I've done. I'm going to ask for some legal advice. And also there, getting legal advice within two working days through a video call, first legal advice, she can book that within KBC Mobile, KBC Mobile for business then. So she does that and then she thinks like, okay, I might be want to do something else which is tax deductible. So she asks Kate, Kate, the, video, the virtual assistant within KBC Mobile, she asks, you know, could you help me with that? And she's, um, she's helped further and she sees that within KBC Mobile as well, she can easily donate to Comop Tegen Kanker. Comop Tegen Kanker is an, um, an organization that supports people with cancer, cancer. And there she sees immediately, oh, okay, I can give, for example, 40 euros to Comop Tegen Kanker, but I only pay 22 because it's fiscally deductible. So there are a lot of things that Margo can do within KBC Mobile. Things for her private life and uh, things also for her um, with, with KBC uh, for her professional life. Essentially, she can always be helped by Kate, Kate, her personal assistant. But as you see, if you walk through a life of Margo, there are loads of things that, you, uh, that she can do with KBC through KBC Mobile or through other channels. So one could wonder, you know, are we as KBC still a bank insurance company? And because oh, we have this great app, we're very proud of our app because we've received uh, by uh, SIA, which is an independent international research agency. Only last September, we received the award of, or we have been nominated as the best banking app 
um, within uh, the world. So we're very, very proud of that. We have a lot of extra services with that. But it's um, the way that we launch also services within, within KBC Mobile or even in general that uh, I would like to highlight. Uh, we start always from a concept, an MVP. Also, for example, if you look now at our developer portal, which has been uh, shown already by the previous speakers, for which I'm very grateful, of course. Um, but we start by launching an MVP. So there are definitely still things to improve in that conceptual phase. But then we grow. We want to grow together with our customers, with people we make it for in order to come to a productive stage. And uh, today we have 1.6 million customers using KVC Mobile. But if you look, and I'm sorry for the Dutch, at the press release, uh, which was there in um, 2012, uh, in 2012, we launched KVC Mobile for the first time. And there it was very innovative. And we, fought, we won the, uh, the prize for the Accenture Innovation Award. Um, and um, appallingly enough, you could do payment transactions in real time within the app. Shocking. You could um, transfer money to third parties that you had not predefined within the app. And you could also check your account information for a year back. So it was, if you look at it now, it's very, very basic. But that's the way that we say, okay, let's launch this, let's go for that. And now we've added all these, a lot of extra services. And if you look indeed at these extra services, why we do this is because the way that we look at the future uh, today, um, Digitization, of course, of your bank and insurance um, is basic. You have to do that. It's basic. Everybody have to, has to do that. But we started offering a lot of beyond banking services. So within our own channel, within KVC Mobile, we started offering, offering a lot of products and services from third parties. For example, the, the ticket for the museum or um, access to your um, to your e-box, so to your the, the governmental uh, electronic box. But we also, of course, go do it, go to the opposite side. We have our um, own products and services that we start distributing in third-party channels and not just uh, payments, but we also offer way more than just payments. Because, of course, as we all know, I think uh, most people here, we live in a VUCA world. Um, all banks' income, especially due to um, the, the low interest rates, are under pressure. So we have to make sure that we stay in touch with our client and that we win that battle for our client. And that is why we uh, look into open and beyond banking and offer all these services. And we capture it in our 3B strategy in Belgium, where we say, OK, we want to be personal and, pro and instant. We want to be all in one app and we want to be everywhere. So that is really the essence of if we look at open and beyond banking, the essence is captured in our 3B strategy. So first of all, being personal and instant, means that we have to make sure that we offer our clients a personal advice at the moment that they need it. We have a, quite a lot of examples for that, but it's very important that we make sure that we automate where it's um, possible in order to make sure that we offer at the moment that the client needs a certain product or a certain peace of mind that we offer that. For example, um, Kate is um, our personal assistance, which brings our customers really peace of mind. I'll give very two very short examples. Say that you are driving your car and you are stopped by the police and they ask for your proof of insurance. So what typically happens is that you open the glove compartment. For me, I will say, say for me, lots of things fall out because I have kids and I then push a lot of things in there and then you need to look and you don't find it immediately very much stressed out. That's no longer the case. You do not long, no longer have to do that you, because you can just ask Kate, you know, could you give me my proof of insurance? And she will digitally provide it immediately for you. But also, if you give consent, we can proactively provide you services that can be relevant for you in a certain context, so at a certain moment. For example, if we have consent, we can know to, um, whether or not you might go to abroad, you might travel abroad. Not that relevant these days, but we hope it will be very relevant soon. So uh, you can travel abroad, and then Kate will ask you, you know, I can see that you're traveling abroad. Are you traveling outside of Europe? And if you're traveling outside of Europe, do you know that you have to open up your credit card in order to be able to pay in the entire world? And there, Kate can help you and she can immediately do it for you. So you can offer a very personalized service instantly at the moment that you need it. Then the second B, being personal and instant, the first one, the second B is being all in one app, where we indeed say, okay, we have all these extra services 
that um, I've touched upon um, with, um, with um, or a number of them I've touched upon with Margot, that we offer in our app. And this is really in order to attract customers and to or to attract people to our uh, platform and to convert them into customers. Because if you look really at our platform now, you have, of course, the payment, payment services, but we offer a lot of extra services, which are typically structured around six domains. Six domains that have, are linked with the payments are frequently used and have high volume services. For example, tickets for the train, tickets for the bus, but also um, telco services, reloading of your of your telco prepaid card, for example, things that we that are close to us. There is a payment linked with it, and that we really can make a difference also in the life of our uh, clients. This is what we offer within KBC Mobile, but we've also opened up our app for platform users. So for non-customers, a number of these um, of the, the basic multi-banking banking features, of course, are available there, but also a number of these um, added services of these extra services are available for our what we call platform users. So they're not KBC customers, but they do use the platform, the open platform then of KBC. And not only for retail, but remember the story of Margot, for example, the legal services. There is also, we also offer extra services for uh, entrepreneurs with, together with our partners. And talking about Margot, um, I said, you know, you can structure it, uh, everything I've told what she does, um, what she did during that year or the highlights of that year um, in what was for her private life and for her entrepreneurial life. But you can also look at it from a 3B perspective. So that we say, okay, you have everything that has to do with all in one app like uh, opening the account, like goal alert, all a lot of services within KBC Mobile. And then there were a number of services that were KBC products and services, but offered in the distribution channel of someone else. And that is what we call our Be Everywhere strategy. Because if you look at financing, uh, by definition, financing is a secondary um, need. You need an... Uh, an insurance in order to protect things that are dear to you. You need a loan in order to buy something. You do not want the loan because of the loan. So from that perspective, we believe that if we have partners with the, to, with whom we can work together and that say, okay, you, we want to offer a financial service within our distribution channel, then we can ease the life of our joint customer and we can really add value both for our partner, both for KBC, but especially for that client. And also there, we have a focus on a number of, uh, of adjacent ecosystems, which are typically also linked with financial management, housing, energy, because we're also really working uh, on that, and mobility, um, that where we believe we can support the economy, the local economy as well, and that are relevant really for us in our, um, in our Belgian context. Um, and of course, if you want to integrate within the distribution channels of others, you have to have integration methods. And that's where our developer portal shows up. Well, our developer portal is really our digital store for um, business people and for IT developers to see where we say, okay, these are the products and services that today we offer in order for you to integrate into your distribution channel or as a developer to integrate into the, the business, um, your business partner's uh, distribution channel. So I will give you a very short, very short, Tour because uh, time's almost uh, running out. Um, where we see, uh, if we look at our uh, at our developer portal, there are two uh, main parts. Uh, first of all, there are the technical integrations, uh, which is uh, of course logical. Uh, we have all the technical technical information for APIs um, that you need in order to integrate our solutions. Uh, a swagger, the, the end user license agreement, there is a sandbox, there are um, tryout functions for certain APIs, for most APIs even. So all the technical information that is necessary in order for you as a developer to integrate our solutions is there. But as you can see, we also offer different types of integrations. And why do we do that? It's because a number of our partners, and in the end, I believe all of our partners will be technically mature and will offer or will want to integrate um, our products and services using an API. But we're not there yet. It's not the case yet. So we really see that other integration methods like, for example, a widget are also necessary in order to serve our partners. So for them to serve our, uh, our customers. And that's also why we have a business solutions part on our developer portal, where we really address uh, entrepreneurs 
so they can see in practice, they can really feel what it could be when they integrate a product or service of KBC. So that is why we have these both parts. And that is also why the um, business part, the business solutions part has been translated to Dutch because most of the entrepreneurs or a number of the entrepreneurs uh, that look at these pages that are informing themselves, they are not, um, the when you publish it all in English and only in English, it's really a hurdle for them to go through. So that's very quickly our developer portal. And of course, uh, APIs, we believe, are the future and are key in order to uh, to realize our Be Everywhere strategy. So like, even though we now and might still for a long time also offer different integration methods, but either way, APIs are key. And we believe that also our company, KPC, has to be API ready. And we've defined a number of building blocks there. I will very quickly go through that because I'm, see I'm running out of time and otherwise there will be no time for questions. But of course, on one hand, the API uh, architecture has to be ready. We have to have the building blocks in place in order to be able to offer from one hand from the product factory side all the way to our partner, to our customer, to be able to offer um, our APIs and to manage also our third parties. But also from a business perspective, it's very important. We say, you know, when you offer products and services in the channel of someone else, you have to take into account that you're in a different context. And when we think about our uh, products and services, typically what you hear when you do service design exercises, for example, they say, ah, you are on the KBC app or you are in a, in a KBC branch. That's not the case. So that different context, you really have to take that into account. And then, of course, you have to serve um, your partners uh, with also IT services like uh, when, uh, they, when, some, when an API is down, for example, of course, towards... Um, uh, developers, but also towards uh, suits, so towards the board, boardroom, there are also services that you have to offer. For example, how many loans have been sold? How many loans are still in progress? So making sure that these IT services that do that are consumer independent is very important in being API ready as a company. And then finally, of course, we have to take into account that uh, the way we have APIs, we have products and services that we've developed for ourselves, but now that others are using it, others are consuming it, the way that they are called upon, that is completely different, that behavior. So making sure that we can manage that behavior of our partner, our third party, calling our APIs through all the way to our backend systems, managing that in a cost-efficient and reliable way is also something that we really have to take into account. Now, it was very speedy how uh, um, we open up our vault, really, um, our vault, our our, our own channel, but also our products and services in channels of others, always in order to really help that customer. So if, keep in mind, bear in mind, it's at the end of the day, it's always about the customer. Also take context into account because it changes everything. If you as a client are in a different context or if you are cooperating with a partner, it's different. The context is different and you have to make sure that from a customer perspective, it all still fits. And then, of course, we're talking here about APIs at API days, but I do believe it's highly important to always think, you know, why are you doing certain things? It's very important to balance that business and tech that you know that you're developing stuff, that you're uh, investing in things, but that you know why you are doing this and what is the end, uh, end goal there. So uh, that's actually uh, the entire of my uh, presentation. So I don't know... Uh, if there are any uh, any questions, yeah, we have time. We have time for uh, one question uh, there that that someone asked. Uh, wh where do you put the limit into the KBC user experience in terms of uh, features? You know, you are showing sports results and everything. How um, how do you want to embrace the full customer experience in the life of of uh, your users? So where do you kind of put uh, put a stop to it? Um, you know, so where, where do you consider it still? It should be inside the KBC app, or it's it should be in someone else app. You know, how do you consider the the, uh, the experience? Yeah, well, currently it's really it's it's linked currently to the eco uh, to the ecosystems that we are present in. So if it's for example. Um, Travel, you cannot do travel yet within uh, with KBC Mobile. So there we really want to focus and it's, it's it gradually builds because it all started with mobility and then it gradually builds further and further um, to uh, to see, you know, what else is, is uh, necessary there. Is there really a limit? I think the limit is defined by the customer as long as they believe it's relevant for us to put it in there, we will do that. Uh, if they believe it's not relevant anymore, then uh, I think uh, it's... Uh, 
we will not do it anymore. That's uh, for me. That's really where we, um, where I believe that the limit is. I hope yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, that sounds yeah. that sounds the the right limit. I think we just reached the time. Thank you very much, Catherine, for your uh, uh, presentation. I You're hope welcome. that my presentation was was good enough. And, Absolutely. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. And again, thank you for being there with us. It's it's a great journey that you presented to us.